Hello again, this is Freed's First Time. My name is Freed, and today we are talking about the Glen Scotia Double Cask. I'm gonna nose it, I'm gonna taste it, I'm gonna give it a score. At the very end, I'm gonna give this thing a musical pairing. So if that sounds like something that you would consider watching in the future, please consider subscribing, or at least give me a thumbs up. That would be lovely. Anyways, this is a Campbelltown malt, because I had to review it, because you know. It's so hot right now. It's not a statement whiskey, it is 46% ABV. It is colored, we'll talk about that in a minute, and uh, but it is non-chill filtered, so that's good. Now, if you are getting this, or eyeballing it at least, uh, two things, really quick. If you're looking for that stereotypical Campbelltown funk, or maybe a peaty vibe, or in some sort of smoky vibe, not happening. This doesn't have that at all. It's pretty chill when it comes to that flavor profile, but, but, if you, or maybe you have a friend that is just a die-hard bourbon fan, and you are trying your nuts off to get them at least to dip a toe into the single malt scotch world, or the scotch world period, and uh, proving it you know, to be very, very difficult, this is it. This, is, this will do it, I promise you. There are so many notes in this that parallel bourbon notes, but it also brings its own little flavor profile to the party. So if you have one of those friends, or it's you, Give it a go, because it's only like 52 bucks as per total wine. That's a really good price. I mean, don't be deterred by it not being an age stated whiskey, um, and don't be deterred by it being colored, because that's just not a big deal. I mean, think seriously, dude. Are you really gonna pitch a fit over something being colored? It's not that big of a deal, <laughs> all right? Continuity in your product is important, especially when you live in Asia, like me, and there's fake shit everywhere. You want continuity so people know you're having a quality product. I get it. It does very little to nothing, nothing. It does nothing to change the flavor whatsoever. So I am a staunch dickhead when it comes to quit being so hard on the coloring. It's not a big deal. Anyway, moving along. Uh, did I mention this is 46%? I think I did. It is. So on the nose. Don't know why I did that. Got some fudgy fruit. It's a dense nose, it is a dense, and it's just oaky. It's just, cover that right out the gate. A lot of oak, a lot of wood, all over the place. <laughs> mm, salted caramel ice cream, orange peel, circus peanut, circus peanut. Lots of it, and when I was doing my notes last night, I convinced myself that this is basically just distilled circus peanuts, which are meant to taste like bananas. Did you know that? I always thought circus peanut was its own unique flavor, but I guess it was designed to taste like bananas, which is, uh, with certain bourbons and Hennessy whiskeys, a note that you find quite often, Jack Daniel especially. So that's pretty rad. But man, on the palate, and well, not so much on the palate, but on the finish as well, those circus peanuts will come back. And there's a slight kind of a grapey vibe as well, which I think may be coming from the sherry barrels. Have you ever smelled like a brandy? I'm getting a bit of that, like a grapey, musky type of thing, but it is oh so faint. And it makes me think, this was aged in first fill bourbon barrels, and then it was finished for a year in uh, PX sherry barrels, but the, the PX influence is so faint in this, man. You really have to hunt for it if you find it at all. And this could be, and this was brought to my attention by a fellow whiskey tuber, the uh, whiskey enthusiast, um, uh, a.k.a. the Turkish Delight. Uh, <laughs> nobody calls him that. But um, he uh, brought to my attention in a previous um, video of mine where I couldn't really get a whole lot of uh, sherry vibes that sometimes a distillery will, when it comes to aging their whiskey, will age it in basically an exhausted barrel. A sherry barrel that just has nothing left to give, but the marketing is there. You can smack sherry barrel matured on that label and that will give it an extra little woohoo when um, when shoppers have a look at it. So that could be it. Maybe they use just bonk barrels and um, that could be a possibility or I just suck at tasting things. Certainly a possibility. Nice, right on. Well, let's try it on the palate. Come back. Okay, all the notes I'm about to give you are riding just a large, just a hunk of oak. Spicy, wet oak. Okay, moving forward. I do get 
a hair of like that new toy plastic. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, and, and that's how Sherry hits me sometimes. But boy, is it, it's ephemeral. It's just there and gone and, and it's moved on. Uh, there's that barrel spice is there as well. Um, Mm -hmm. Overcooked caramel that has been dipped into bitter chocolate. <clears throat> Excuse me, has been dipped into dark chocolate. Mm. But yeah, man, that very little sherry, very little sherry at all. And forgive me for just you know having going back to it so many times, and that is a perfect segue into the finish. Boy, it's short. I mean. I was very disappointed in the finish, which is the only gripe that I, I have um, with the whole thing, because I really like this. It's good stuff. Although I don't think my score will really indicate how much I like it. I tried to keep the score as, as fair as possible, but there's always that, uh, je ne sais quoi, the right thing to say, that you don't, that thing that you don't know how to describe, um, and it, it has it. I don't know what it is, but it has it. Um, but yeah, man, the finish is short. It's a, it's a slightly bitter, that wood, man, it's all wood, all wood, and the circus peanuts come back, which can be also compared to banana. Banana. So, I still stand by this being a perfect bourbon alternative. This is really, this will do the job, I assure you. I think so. I, I have faith. I'm confident in it. Okay, score-wise, um, the nose, if you've watched my channel before, you will not be surprised that for me the nose is the best part. I am a nose guy and I love it. Uh, the nose, I gave a, check my notes, 13 out of 15. Oh, I didn't even explain my scoring system. Nice. Um, it's a grand total of 50. The, no, uh, the color has a 5. Color is 5 points. The nose is 15 points, the palette's 15 points, and the finish is also 15 points for a grand total of 50. So, the color, I normally would knock it down to two and a half if it's artificially colored, but man, it just works so well <laughs> with that, uh, with the motif and the label and the etched, whatever this is, on the front. It just works really well, so I'm, I bumped it up to a three. Uh, let's see. Uh, the nose, again, best part, 13 out of 15. The palette, 12 out of 15. And the finish is where it kind of dudded off for me. I gave that a 9 for a grand total of 37 out of 50. Um, but again, I really like it. I really like it. 37 out of 50, you might look at that and think, well, that's not that great of a score. But I like this more than the score would indicate, if that even makes sense. And I don't even, don't please don't ask me to explain because... I won't. I, I won't. <laughs> All right, music. That's why you're here, maybe. I had three songs written down that worked really well with this, but I dropped on the one that I chose because it was short, it was punchy, and it was just really enjoyable. It was called Getting Down by The Kills, 2008, which is just this duo. guy and a lady and they just play together they have a drum machine and it's really fun stuff and it's excuse me it's simple it's very good and the chorus is just sounds they're just making sounds <laughs> it's it's just it's a perfect pairing for this and if you pour a glass of this put that song on you will absolutely see why so yeah again that's the end thank you for coming by if you did enjoy what you saw um, please consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up. That would be lovely. Share it if you want to. And um, that's all I've got for this. Thank you so much for coming and we'll see you on the next one.